Okay, folks, here we are in the Eastern Med, just north of Egypt, and I'm going to do an update on DTC for DCS, which is the tool that we can now use both VR and 2D to upload various kinds of information into the jet rather quickly. Uh, it includes weapons and waypoints, pre-planned waypoints for for all your uh, GPS weapons, a laser code, just a lot of stuff. You'll see that as we go through it. I, I won't try to list it all here. First thing you want to decide, uh, first of all, what you want to do is put the, the jet in some sort of standard configuration that you know won't interfere with the DTC upload process and will give it its best chance of success. And although I don't know what the particulars are here, what I use is what I used in the original video, which is um, HUD on, DT, or on DDI-1, HSI, DDI-2, and the data page, which is a subpage of the uh, um, HSI page with waypoint zero showing. Also, radio channel one in both radio one and radio two, and the INS alignment complete and the switch in IFA. So having all that stuff set up, uh, then you should be ready to go. So in order to bring up the application, you use the HUD um, vid switch, which is the WD switch, which is uh, on the left side there if you watch it. Turn it on and it pops up. Now typically it comes up uh, in this page here. Obviously there are two other airplanes that it is currently configured for. These are all slightly different, but basically the same. And well, all I'm going to cover here is on the F-18 Hornet. So I'm going to bring this up. And as you can see, I've got various um, missions that I've been playing with. Um, the one that's important is uh, radio channelization. And really what that is, is if you have, if I want to channelize something, if I want to channelize my radios because I know that my jet is not properly channelized, I can run that either separately or as part of the mission upload. And I'm going to do that. And what I'm going to do today is just go to this and I'm going to clone it so I can change the name so I don't change anything in this copy here. And I'm going to call it uh, the DTC demo mission. And now it, makes, it really makes a copy of what's in here. So we open this up, we go down to radios, and it's got all the radios in there. Now there's a few other things it has because I upload them at the same time. I generally do a radio update, but um, that's not, uh, you don't have to have that as the case. But let's go to waypoints. Right now this is empty. And what I'm going to do is uh, go to the uh, F10 menu. And you can see the carriers up here. This is where I am. And we're going to do a little a quick low level into my target range here, just so we have some waypoints. This is bullseye, and you want to keep that in mind. It's the symbol that represents the blue bullseye. And this system will upload that data in uh, waypoint 59, as you'll see. So what I want to do is I want to add some waypoints. But there is a little um, uh, thing that we can now use that I can bring up and uh, I'll give you the keys that uh, allow you to do that. But uh, you want to, what I have is I have that uh, mapped to one of my controller inputs that's that's clear. Um, it, essentially, it's on my little keyboard here, and, but it brings up this little application. Now, it says you can uh, add steer points, add targets, add pre-planned coordinates or clear. Now, 
um, for the F-18, there's really no difference between steer points and targets. Uh, and in fact, when we put stuff in here, they're all precise coordinates, so you could um, use these interchangeably. So I just be consistent, and um, and I I may put them in as steer points if they're waypoints that I don't intend to use as targets, and then I'll add a target that for for these targets. And it's really only important while you're doing this. Uh, once you're in the jet, it really doesn't matter a whole lot. So so for the waypoints, I'm just going to go ahead and, and Put the uh, point where I want to have my coast in point right there, and I'm going to say add steer point, and it puts it in there. Notice that it's it's a uh, coordinate that's uh, to three digits, which is good for precise, and of course it's zero feet because we're at sea level. And then we'll have another waypoint right here at the end of this little peninsula here. Whoops, right there, and we'll make another steer point. And then we'll come down here into the target area and we'll just uh, we want to have a little valley that goes down to the to our targets, which are these ammo storage facilities down here. And so we'll just have the the third waypoint right at the uh, mouth of this little valley here. OK, uh, right along that road steer point and then we'll put the last steer point kind of right in the center area of this target complex. Uh, and we'll put that there. So we have four steer points. And, <clears throat> and that's kind of what we want. And I'm going to go ahead and send those to DTC. And it adds them in here all together all at once. Precise with elevations. All kind of cool. Now what I want to do is check. We'll go to the next thing here, which is sequences. And I want a sequence. And I'm going to do so. I'm going to select sequence, sequence one, and I'm going to just use uh, um, all the waypoints. I could use a range of waypoints, which in this case will be one to four, four, four. And or I could put one, two, three, four as specific waypoints, and that's all I need. I only want one sequence. Okay. The CMS now I want to enable. Uh, do I want to enable EW on the HUD? Um, uh, for now, I don't. That's something I can select later. And I'm just going to go with the. Uh, now you can change these. Obviously, any one of these programs, but I'm just going to go with the default settings for today. The radios we know are all ready to go. I'm going to enable guard on both just so we can listen to guard if someone calls. And um, I'm not going to play with these. I'm just going to upload uh, all 20 channels on both radios, and that should be all we need. OK, for the fire control radar, this is my standard setting. I already talked about this earlier, but AMRAM and Sidewinder are really the ones that I'm concerned about. You don't have to have these particular settings. You can set whatever you like. Um, and I don't, I don't typically use the Sparrow, so this is just the, these are the default numbers that uh, come with it. And I've enabled both uh, RWR and BRA. And this is the declutter mode, three choices, normal, one and two, and I'm just going to leave it at normal. Now for pre-planned, we have uh, these weapons. Now what we want to do is put the weapons we have. Now on the outside, we have um, laser-guided weapons, so we want to put... Uh, empty or other there now and for this one we don't have now obviously this stp is for the slam er but uh, since we don't have that we have the penetrator version of the gpu 31 so we're going to put that in both of these here and <clears throat> so now what i want to do is i want to add uh, pp so let's go ahead and pick a couple of targets here let's just Go to these targets here, and I'll do. Um, let's clear this. Okay, add pre-planned, and notice that I have a three and a seven station. So let's go pre-planned one. Okay, and then we'll come down here and go on station seven PP one, and notice that it has station three PP one and station seven PP one, and they are precise coordinates with elevation. Okay, and then we want to send to the airplane. Boom. 
and it sends it up here we can show the overview uh, and that's great okay let's just go back to here now if we wanted to clean this up we could reset all pps to zero and we would show that we got rid of those coordinates which is uh, an added feature which is great but since we don't want to do that we're going to go ahead and re-enter real quick here okay pp1 uh, actually it's here so we can just resend them up that's good now those look like similar but not identical so those are different waypoints okay good okay so we've got uh, those two things set and we can go to HMD we're gonna leave these the same but obviously you can see that you can modify these to your heart's desire and uh, you can also reset back to uh, this the standard okay so down in miscellaneous I got a lot of things selected here because I typically upload these things all right uh, the bingo is uh, that I like to use is 5,000 this will if we can don't want to click if we don't want to enable bullseye we can unclick it but we do want to enable uh, waypoint 59 as bullseye so uh, we that um, that's good uh, barrel altitude warning is at 5,000 feet that's typically the standard radar altitude warning this will actually set the bug on the um, in, uh, radar altimeter at 200 feet now this sets the laser code for the pod uh, for both the uh, targeting and spot tracker so we just want to do the targeting one since we're going to self self laze and I'm going to put the code that I like to use which is 1748 and I'm going to leave the default in here not change it at all um, I'm going to uh, select the tactical uh, autopilot bank limit uh, and then I'm going to put in uh, the information for the carrier I'm on which is channel which is channel 72 x-ray and the ILS is channel 2 and we'll hide the map on the HSI okay now that's all the parameters that I want so I go up here to upload now what do I have to upload I have waypoints I have a sequence I don't have any countermeasures uh, the radios I want to upload I have some settings in the fire control radar I have some pre-planned coordinates um, I don't have anything in the HMD but I do have something in the miscellaneous okay so it looks like I've got pretty much everything I want so I'm going to uh, get rid of that little thing there and then I'll go back to the um, flight deck and just so we'll watch it go through this now you can either hit the IP button here if you like or you can uh, hit the upload uh, button here on the DTC uh, application now if you're uh, uh, if I don't know if you can see the DC application if you're using VR probably not I think that's why we have this way but you can hit the IP to get it to, to get this thing to run and that's what we'll try to do here so again make sure your screens are all in the same configuration that you said earlier looks like they are and I'm ready to upload so let's go ahead and hit the IP button boom so you can see it's going through its thing it's putting in that kind of the information we talked about now it's going to go in and put um, uh, each of these waypoints and there were I think four waypoints notice that are precise coordinates Okay, now it's going to go all the way back down to uh, waypoint 59 and it's going to mark the uh, bullseye then it's going to go back to waypoint one and stop there and now it's going to do uh, the sequence one two three four okay and now it's going to go through your radios it's going to just verify that uh, go through all your radios now I think this jet is already properly channelized but it's going to go through them um, and uh, redo them now notice that it says DTC upload in progress that's a new addition and it just allows you to know when and how for how long the DTC is doing its upload now you can be talking to other people while this whole thing is going you really have to monitor it uh, it goes pretty quick and uh, you can just check everything afterwards you can actually rerun portions of it if you think something was screwed up 
you don't have to rerun the entire thing. But you just you definitely want to have the stuff uh, set to the what you th what, what to you is going to be standard. And what I use, I've already talked about. Okay, and now it's going to go to the fire control radar. I didn't see that it did radio 2 there, but maybe I missed it. We'll see. Okay, now it's going to do my preset weapons. Notice that they're precise coordinates and they have elevation in feet. And they're going to do stations three and seven. Okay, now they're adding my bingo fuel here. And tack in. And that's usually the last thing there or close to it. And obviously that's done. So let's go ahead and turn that off, get rid of it. And let's just check the radios to see if radio 2. Well, it looks like it must have gotten it, but that was pretty quick. Let's see, button 1. That's correct. Oops. That's correct. Okay, that's correct. And I think that makes those are the ones that really change. And yeah, that's the same. And the other ones would be 15, 16, and 17, which are. Yep, those are correct. Okay, so it looks like it got those two. So we'll put those all back on button one. Put this back on button one. And yeah, let's see here. Now, button one is what you want to be on the flight deck. Let's take a look. Uh, now, what we haven't done is, I'm going to go to stores page. Um, we deselect that. Now, we have GBU-24s, which are laser guided. So in order to put the code into both of these, I just hit the code button before selecting the weapon. So notice that the weapon is not selected. I'm going to hit code. I'm going to put in the code that I want, which is 1748. Enter it. And when I select a weapon, it's now in both weapons. And it would be in all four if I had four laser weapons that I wanted with the same code. If you want to put different codes in different weapons, then you have to select the station and then individually put in the code for each weapon. And this is just a quicker way of putting in weapons for uh, or codes for multiple weapons. Okay. All right. So let's just go back to Radio 1 there. Uh, let's check to see if uh, uh, radio altimeter is 200 feet, which is great. We have the sequence we wanted. So I think we've got everything we want. You can see it's pretty quick. And even though I was talking and focusing on it, once you uh, have the parameters, you can um, uh, you can go about talking to other people, going through your brief with your flight mates, why the thing is being uploaded. Now, before we leave this, I'm going to bring it back up real quick. And I want to show you a, a couple of things under load and save. Now, these are um, allow you to, to essentially on a previous day or maybe earlier in the day before you have a mission you can come into the mission and you can set up um, your DTC and then save it to a file and then hand it to everybody in the that you're gonna fly with and they can load it to, in their jet without paying any attention and then he will just tell you what to use and what and and uh, what not about the mission um, to make it um, simpler for the entire flight, not just the flight lead. Uh, in fact, the whole unit could have that same upload if you make it generic enough. Like, for example, if you had uh, 16 targets you wanted your squadron to hit and you wanted four for each of four flights, then just give them all 16 coordinates and then assign uh, waypoints to be designated as targets later 
by each of the four flights. So there's ways to do this, ways to use this. It's real nice. It's uh, kind of a no-brainer, and it seems to be pretty reliable. I've been using it now for a couple of months, and I was part of the uh, test team that evaluated this new version, and uh, I really like it. It's pretty nice. makes things a lot simpler. And I think that's pretty much it. Talk to you later.